everyone, I'm Tammy Irby and I'm the lead real estate agent for the Live the Easy Life real estate team powered by Samson Properties. And I'm thrilled to welcome you to a brand new video series. In this series, we'll be exploring the captivating world of old expressions and idioms. You might be wondering, why is a realtor so interested in language? Well, let me tell you why this matters to me. You see, my passion for language and marketing goes hand in hand with my role in real estate. In this dynamic field, effective communication is key. It's not just about finding houses, it's about helping people find their homes. Language, expressions, and idioms, these are powerful tools that shape the way we connect with one another. And as a realtor, I've witnessed firsthand how the right words can turn a house into a home. Understanding the nuances of language and marketing isn't just a professional interest, it's a personal passion. It's about crafting stories, creating connections, and turning every transaction into a memorable journey. So in this series, I'm excited to share with you the stories behind old expressions and idioms and why they matter in the world of real estate and beyond. We'll uncover origins, meanings, and hidden gems of these timeless phrases and learn how they can elevate your communication skills, whether you're buying a house or simply having a conversation. Thanks for joining me on this exciting journey. And remember, in language and in real estate, the right words can open doors to endless possibilities. Today on Roots of Expressions, we're taking a deep dive into the history of a phrase that's as intriguing as it is ominous, to hell in a handbasket. This idiom has a fascinating backstory that we're about to unravel. Now, the exact origin of this phrase is a bit of a mystery, as is the case of many old idioms. But one thing's for sure, it's been around for centuries. In the 19th century, the phrase has been associated with the American gold rush of the 1940s, where men were lowered in hand baskets down mining shafts to set explosives, which could have deadly consequences. Some folks believe it might be related to the Civil War, where soldiers were sent home with severed limbs in hand baskets. Oh, terrible. But here's the catch. The idiom was used before the war, so that can't be its origin. In the days of the guillotine, a handbasket was used to catch the head and prevent it from rolling away. Oof. Many sources connect this gruesome practice to the expression. It paints a vivid picture of inevitability, doesn't it? After all, what's an easier way to carry things than in a handbasket, even a severed head? Oh my gosh. Uh, so the full phrase, going to hell in a handbasket, was first documented in the mid 17th century, well before the guillotine was even invented. You can find it in print as early as 1682 in Rome. So it seems like the guillotine connection, while fascinating, might not be the whole story. In a nutshell, going to hell in a handbasket is an expressive way to describe a disastrous turn of events whether it's a project gone awry or a chaotic week. But remember, not every burnt pancake or traffic jam is a one-way ticket to Hades. So there you have it. Thanks for joining me on this linguistic journey. If you've enjoyed learning about the origins of this idiom, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And thanks for listening to Roots of Expressions.